Welcome and hello. This is Caffeine Zombies with some bite-sized news. Today is July 24th, 2024. Elon Musk is in the news again, but this time it isn't about him backing down from donating to Trump Monthly like Trump were Twitter and Elon was... Musk? No, instead it's about his robots. They're just around the corner, just kidding. The Optimus robot is clearly way, way, way behind the competition who nearly a decade ago were navigating parkour-style arenas and working autonomously. Optimus robots instead started off as a man in a suit in 2021. Weird, look it up. Then th there was a robot folding laundry, but it was soon discovered that it was someone at Tesla teleoperating that robot too. They'll be out to internally in 2024 for Tesla slaving away 24 seven like Elon wants his employees to do. To now, conveniently after his stock update call, the robots are being pushed back and will now be internally available in 2025 and externally in 2026. Unless he keeps delaying, and if he does, maybe someday it'll be true. Growing up, there were plenty of shows, some movies that talk about someone in a coma. People would go to their bedside and talk with them, read books, in hopes that the person would miraculously wake up. Reality is that severe brain injuries have made it hard for doctors to even talk with loved ones about what they should do. Are they Basically asleep but suffering, will they ever wake up? Are they aware of what's going on? Important questions like this and many more may soon be able to be answered. Scientists at Western Loss and Health Research Institute and Harvard University have figured out how to combine various imaging techniques at particular times after brain injuries and during ICU care to better identify those who will recover and those who will likely not. They've learned to detect brain activity highly linked with conscious awareness and in some instances, communicate with the person in a coma. The technique isn't fully worked out yet, but we may soon have a better understanding of all those deeper questions when something serious like this happens to a loved one. Deep fakes are videos where the face of someone real is put onto another person, and then it is essentially molded to that person's face throughout the original video's content. It is done so well, it is hard for the human eye to decipher if it is real or fake. AI video creation tools have made this easy enough for almost anyone to do it, even on their phones sometimes, and techniques to detect them are getting worse and worse at identifying the subtle differences as they get better and better at their process. A new technique, however, has been discovered that's about 70% accurate. Scientist Oolabi used two different astronomical light detection models, the CAS system and Gini Index, which both basically look at different ways that light is distributed over the object in various ways. Using these techniques, he compared the reflections in both eyes to see if they matched what would be expected, and that's how he was able to identify the fakes. Some do fear that this will just lead to AI models adapting, which of course they will, and use this as a new measurement, uh, but it is at least going to slow them down for a bit. And that's it for today. Till next time.